Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Sony Vegas tutorial and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to create an awesome intro. Now I can already hear you guys like Alex, what do you mean with an awesome intro because there are like a million ways to create an intro, but I'm going to show you guys a really simple one with like an explosion, your name and some music kicking in. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. Okay, so as you can see we are on Vegas 14 as always and the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to download a few things I'm going to show you guys what you guys need to download so basically I'm going to open up this folder this is what you're going to need and you're going to disregard the thumbnail but the thing you need is an explosion with on a green screen uh, a song with a, like a nice a copyright free song with like a nice drop for example NCS and a sound effect explosion so what we're going to do is we're going to make our name zoom in and when my you know my my name is fully zoomed we're going to make an explosion as a music kicking name it's going to be really awesome so I would say let's go ahead and start off with dragging everything Thing into the project okay so as you can see we have our explosion right here so the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to also drag in uh, our uh, song by NCS. It is the edge, as you can see right here, our boom sound effect. So now we're going to, now that we have everything right here, the only thing we, we're going to just move those aside for a second and we're going to make our name zoom in really fast. And then boom, when my name is like fully zoomed, we're going to make some explosions. So the first thing you need to do is we're going to go over to media generators and you're going to pick titles and text. So we're going to place this guy onto the timeline and we're going to just write our name. It's really simple. So I'm just going to type in just Alex Alfred in my case. I'm gonna do it like this, boom. And as you can see, it's a little bit too big. So I'm gonna make this, I would say 30 looks great. Then we're gonna pick a nice different font, of course, because this one looks like a little bit standard. So we're gonna go ahead and find a nice, like, fancy artsy fartsy font i think this one looks pretty nice so we're just going to x this out and right here we have our name but we need to make make this zoom so it's going to be really simple you would all the only thing you need to do is you went over to this little icon this event pen crop one and the first thing you want to do is when you open up this box first thing you want to do is you just want to zoom out as much as you can by dragging this bigger so it's so it looks really tiny so now that we have zoomed like out as much as we can we're going to place a keyframe and you can do that just by clicking somewhere on the on, on the little on the brighter uh, bar not this one but this one uh, and you let's say I'm going to place the keyframe right here and then we're going to go ahead and zoom in to the original size or just restore box now that we made a movement from small to big so this is what the movements looks like as you can see it's zooming in really slow but you can also make it faster by just going back and just drag this keyframe you made closer to the to the beginning so let's see what it looks like right now Dish. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this explosion uh, like explode when my name appears like boom on screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new video track, right click, uh, insert video track. I'm going to drag this explosion over our text file and I can already hear guys like dude why is it green and not only the explosion? Well you want to use a chroma key, actually the chroma key that I use as well, you know, for my green screen, it works the same. So we go over to video effects obviously. You want to pick a chroma key, this one, drag it on top of there. And then you want to pick the same color, but there's no way you're going to go ahead and like start matching those colors. No, you just want to pick this little pencil, click once on the green and boom. We have our explosion right there only. It has a little bit too greenish, you know, like over it. So I'm going to just, you know, play with uh, the low threshold for a second until it looks great, until it looks good. So let's see how it looks right now. As you can see, it appears a little bit too uh, too early, so I'm going to drag this one to the right and let's match it. Boom. Two hours later. So I timed it a little bit, and this is basically how 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 good it looks. Let's see. Boom. But what you also can do is you can cut a little bit away, away uh, like to like shorten the explosion until you see until you see like this one. Boom. So let's just go ahead and match those two. When it's zoomed in, boom, the explosion is there. The next thing that we're gonna do is you can also make it a little bit bigger, guys. I wanna mention that. You're gonna go over to this track motion icon on the track of your explosion. And you just we're gonna make it go ahead and start dragging this a little bit bigger right here. That looks pretty good. And you can also add a little bit of brightness and contrast to it. So video effects, brightness and contrast, drag this one on top of your, uh, you know, um, your explosion. And you can just go ahead and mess around with the contrast to spice it up a little bit. It looks pretty good actually. So this is basically how it looks so far. Boom. We have my name. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to match the music on there. So I'm going to turn on my headset because there's audio. Let's go ahead and pick the track and let's 
see where the drop is of the music. So I'm going to cut away until it drops. Let's see. Maybe a little bit loud. Let me lower it a bit. Okay, here comes a drop. Okay, so we're going to cut away this part. Press on S, delete this one, and I'm going to match this with my name. So let's see how it looks. A little bit too late. So we're going to cut away right there. So this is our intro. And I think eight seconds for intro is like the perfect length. So I'm going to just drag my text a little bit to the end. And let's say I'm going to just make my, make my text fade out. I'm going to do it like this. You can leave this explosion how it is. And then also we're going to add this explosion sound effect. This one. Just, you know, appear also on the same moments that the, that, the, that, the, that the explosion is kicking in. So let's see what it sounds like. Let's match those. That is pretty good actually guys. So obviously you can add in like different backgrounds when the when the music kicks in. You can add like a like a background. You know, for me in my case, this is just like a black background. Let's see if I can find something else. Uh, like let's say I'm gonna pick a gradient. Uh, I'm gonna just drag this one right here and let me place this one. So you can add in like a background, like a light leak, particles, a vignette, colors, anything. That is how awesome it is. So that's how you make a cool intro. And obviously I know there are so many different ways to create other cool intros, I know. But make sure to stay tuned because in two days I'll be dropping a video how to make a cool outro. So make sure to stay tuned for that. So that's it for this Sony Vegas tutorial guys. Well, just for this Vegas 14 tutorial. Thank you guys for liking, thank you guys for subscribing. And I will see you guys tomorrow for one Audacity tutorial tomorrow and also on Friday, uh, a new Vegas Pro tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, that was freaking amazing. So I will see you guys on Friday. So that is it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you wanna see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow.